so I, I'm just seeing this clip where on Fox News they actually called Mr. Rogers evil. Mr. Rogers. They called the man evil. Mr. Frickin' Rogers evil. Uh, there's a professor of uh, finance, a finance professor at uh, Louisiana State University named Don Chance who comes up with this insane and ridiculous idea that because Mr. Rogers told kids that you know they were special um, no matter who they were or where they come from that that somehow it made them feel like they they deserve um, better grades and that you know they have everything coming to them and they should be handed everything now anyone who's watched Mr. Rogers and I'm sure a lot of us who grew up on Mr. Rogers knows that that is just the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard but these morons uh, just, I mean, it's 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 one of the most irresponsible um, displays of just bad journalism I've ever seen in my life. They're sitting there actually giving credence to this. They're they're arguing this. They're saying, "Well, yeah, I can see that." You know, let me tell you something. First and foremost, this man is a finance professor. He's not a psychiatrist or psychologist. What what the hell this man is doing? Uh, trying to even come up with some kind of theory as to why kids today feel they deserve more than you know kids of the past is beyond me. And as a finance professor, I would think that he would understand that the the, the Mr. Rogers Show started airing in 1968. Okay, folks. So this means that the very first viewers, like if you were one year old when you started watching Mr. Rogers in 1968, the the latest that you know, the the Mr. Rogers generation started going to college was in 1986. That's off the top of my head, somewhere right around 1986. So what about the kids between 1986 and now? Did they not ask for anything? Did they ask for everything? I don't even understand where this man is coming from that he comes up in, in 2010 and says, oh, this is why kids feel they deserve everything handed to them. Really, dude? Is that what you think? Let me tell you something. Um, if that's the case, let me ask you. Why does Paris Hilton think she deserves to have everything handed to her? Why is she such a spoiled little slut? Oh, because she watched Mr. Rogers? No. It's because of the way she was brought up. And that's the problem with kids today, okay? It's got nothing to do with Mr. Rogers, who taught kids that you are special. And you know, he taught them manners and etiquette. I mean, really, really, you're gonna blame that man for the problems that have been pushed upon us by the parents of the kids who are so spoiled that they deserve, they feel they deserve to have everything handed to them. I mean, come on, it's outrageous. And that, you know, I just, I'm so appalled, I decided to just get on here and rave and rant about it because it's, stupid. It's just irresponsible of, of these people from Fox News to get on the news and actually say these things. Especially, you know, this man left behind him a great legacy. He did great things for people. And, you know, it's a shame when people try to do something good, not just for themselves or their family, but for an entire world. And they get shit on for it. And I hate to see it, man. I just despise it. It pisses me off to no end. And I, I just, I, I want people to know, I want people to understand, if you didn't grow up and watch Mr. Rogers, that this is the most just heinous accusation anyone could possibly lay on the man. And, the, you know, this man should be remembered for the good things he did. And they're disrespecting him, and it's just unbelievable and you know I know this isn't video game related like you know normally that's what I rant about normally I'm a lot more prepared this is completely you know improv but Jesus man doesn't that just tick you off it ticks me off I don't know so anyway I just wanted to throw that out there I'm gonna attach this to one of those goofy Fox News videos and I just I, I wish there was something we could say something we could do you know we should all write Fox News and we should tell them what we think of this. I, you know, I'm going to. I'm going to do it first thing, and I'm going to let them know what I think and how irresponsible. I want a retraction. That's what I want. I want a retraction. I want them to get up there and say, you know what? Yeah, maybe that was really stupid of us to say. 
you know I think they should apologize to uh, the family of, a, of a, a great man who did great things for kids and that's all there is to it so that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm emailing Fox and I, I suggest you do too and I say you know as usual you know the more people that do it the better I say we all do it and we uh, we show homage to uh, the memory of a, a really great man who did really good things so that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.